Hey Dreamers, this is Mandy Owen and I'm excited to be back with you today to talk more about dreams. We are in beautiful Honduras this week. We've just come off a missions trip where we served uh, all the national women's uh, leaders and pastors' wives and pastors of the nation of Honduras that are in the Assemblies of God. We had the honor to speak with them and to serve them and it was such an anointing. There was yeah, so yes. much that happened so during good. that service. We okay. saw an outpouring of uh, revival. We saw an outpouring of people's hearts being healed. It was absolutely beautiful. But what really stood out to me as I served with my friends and, and all, of, all of these women from Freedom Fellowship International was that I didn't know each one that stood up had a different vision or a different dream. And I was just amazed. I heard Jenna stand up and say, I had a dream about this. And then Lori said, I had a dream about this. And Dewana had had a vision. And so I wanted to share a little bit about how God used dreams and visions as we prepare to minister in Honduras. Um, and Jenna, I wanted to start with you because you were the first one I heard say it yesterday. Um, and I wanted to see if you could just share how God spoke to you through a dream to prepare your heart for what you were going to serve the nation. Absolutely. So uh, my dream came about two weeks before the trip. And I, at the time, I didn't even know that I was going to be going on the trip. Um, so that was kind of fun. But God um, gave me a dream about a forest that had been completely burned um, down to the ground where there was just ash left, nothing left but the forest. And I woke up feeling um, just very upset and concerned, fearful, um, and asked God, what does wow. this mean? And he, sa he said, one, three, eight. And I said, well, what does that mean? And so I just began to just question the Lord, you know, what are you trying to tell me? What do you want me to know? And he said, um, she shall be like a tree planted by streams of water. Amen. Amen. And so, it, so as that dream um, about the burned out forest came together, I realized that he was talking about um, our lives, that there are things in our lives that yeah. have been, been completely devastated yeah, by, yeah. by um, events and things that have happened to us. But that because we are in the word, because we are planted by the streams of water, that we are like a tree that can't be touched. Our leaves don't wilt, and we bear fruit in every season. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, so powerful. beautiful. That was so powerful. And on top of that, when we got here, one of the missionaries said, told the story about her campground, almost burnt in the forest, burned up yeah. to the campground. Lori was a big part of that story. And, and that matched with that. And that it matched with what happened at the conference. So many connections. Amen. It's just a lot, Amen. a lot. Lori, what was your dream? Or how did that? How did the Lord speak to you through that? Well, I mean, I had a vision um, when we got together with Pastor John, our, our pastor from our church, um, that um, it was just, it was powerful. It was a vision of a Honduran woman who was dry, who was just desperate, and she was crawling on her belly in a dry and barren desert, basically. And she knew in her heart that she needed to get to the living water, the oasis of her soul, which is Jesus Christ. And that just kind of coincides with what Jenna was saying right here, yeah. because once, yeah. once, she, once she got to the living water, she can grow like a tree planted Amen. by the rivers of water. So that's just so powerful. I love, I love how the Lord spoke to each of you yeah. um, on what your prayer points were and how you were going to reach the women. Yeah. Like like it was it was on target for how you and, and the Lord was going to use you to reach the women's hearts. It was yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, well, Dewana, what was, what was your vision? Because you had a really special vision. Yeah, well, I didn't have a dream. Um, I did have a vision. And I actually saw it during um, worship. Uh, on the first night of the conference and um, uh, my message was going to be on uh, labels that women we, we label ourselves other people label us sometimes those labels are good sometimes those labels are bad but that we have to pull off all those labels and these were pastor's wives so I was you know pulling off that pastor's wife label that sometimes looks like a target um, and pulling, pulling on that off and putting on the real label that we're supposed to carry, which is the daughter of God. Amen. Yes. And uh, Amen. it was before I spoke. And um, as the women were worshiping, I looked out into the, the audience, into the group of women that were there. And I saw an angel on each Amen. side wow. walking That's in so and cool. through the aisles of the women as they were worshiping, ripping off labels off their chests. And I, I was like, that's what is getting ready to happen right now. And I could see it happening. And I was like, 
wow, here it comes, yeah. here it comes. Amen. And it was Thank just, it was beautiful. And I had a testimony from someone that told me after, after you shared that message, um, that she had a label of just being happy all the time. Yes. And so she ripped that label off and she said, I'm going to be real. I'm not going to just put on a happy face. I'm going to let the Lord really use me and wow. use my story, whether good or bad. It was beautiful. Um, so the yeah. Lord gave me uh, three different, I had three different dreams. I'm not going to share them all right now. Um, but there was a one that was specifically for Karen, which you saw this week, on, uh, last week on the video. Um, and then there was one that was a spiritual warfare dream. And that one is the one I'm going to talk about today. Um, and it really basically, the, it, as I walked out this dream, I'm not going to share it all, um, but it was, it was a spiritual warfare. I mean, I saw some demonic things happening. I saw some communication with some stuff, and I had to really pray that out. Yeah. But what yeah. happened in that is it was not a, um, a spiritual warfare against me. The Lord allowed me to have this dream yeah. so that I could see what I was coming up against. Yes. So I could see what I was fighting. I knew at this That's when I woke great. up from this dream that it was generational curses. Ooh. I knew that yeah. there were some things yeah. that were generational back 150 years. Yes. Um, and so I started praying into that before we ever even so came powerful. to Honduras. I started praying into what the Lord was gonna break before we came know. here. And, and as we ministered to the women, we saw that. We, yes, saw, we, we saw some yes, breaking we happen. We saw some things, some things had been hidden for years and years, probably for, for generations that were like, I'm not hiding this anymore. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to, I'm going to let yeah. my story out. I'm going to share my story because through the power of our story, yes. like in Revelation 12, 11 says, through the blood of the lamb, the word of our testimony, yes. uh, as we share our story, we can break chains. Yes. And so we yes. saw some women being empowered to break chains this Hallelujah. weekend. And so I just want to bless you with that, you guys. The Lord used dreams and visions with our team mm -hmm. as we shared and we ministered to Honduras. So I encourage you, the next time you have a dream and you're going to be serving somewhere, you're going to be ministering somewhere, to not ignore it. Pray yeah, into it. Even right. if you don't Pray understand it. it, none of us really understood what we saw or dreamed until it came um, into pass. Uh, but we started praying into it. And the more we prayed into it, the more the revelation came real to us. Yes. And the Lord empowered us to minister. Yes. So thank yes. you guys so much. You can find me on Facebook at Mandy Owen. You can find us on YouTube at Mandy Owen. Or you can reach us on our website at MandyOwenMinistries.com. Keep dreaming.